Hey everybody, welcome to tip number one, or there's actually a couple of tips in here for building a responsive website. And you can find all of this stuff in David Lemon's videos, but you kind of have to sort through hours, an hour and a half long videos to get it. So this is going to be just a quick session on using things like these buttons up here at the top. We're going to talk about those. And we're also going to talk about how you should or shouldn't resize elements on your page. So first of all, let's talk about the pink buttons at the top. What those pink buttons do is critical for responsive website building. And so as you see it right now, all of them are colored in. What that means is that mobile on down, or sorry, desktop on down to mobile is going to be edited when we make a change. So with all of the pink showing here, that's going to edit this from here on down in the site. So let's say this button is not large enough and we want to make it larger. So we go over here to the size and we, well, actually it's fully large right now. So let, let's take it down smaller. Okay, so it's 25% instead of 100%. When we go over here, it's the same here and here and here and here. So they all got changed because they were all lit up. I'm gonna put that back to where it was. And then, so what we can do is actually, if we want to just change the desktop screen, when it's the only one highlighted, it's the only one that this will get changed for. So let's do the same thing. We're gonna make it smaller. Now, when we go here, it's the same size, same size, same size, same size. So basically how that works, and I'm gonna take that back up. Basically how that works is you click it, you click it, you click it, you click it. So if you're here, say so for example, you can choose to edit just this one. If we edit it now, it's just gonna change this size of the screen. If you click it again, it's gonna change this and everything down below it. So that's how the pink buttons work up there and that's why you may uh, have been frustrated because you went down here to the mobile site and you made changes and, and you get frustrated because it changed it up here. The reason is with all of those icons colored in, you're changing it everywhere on the site. So that's the first thing. The second thing before we go from this tip is I want to say, this is a very, very important. Uh, two things. If you want a website that is optimized for the mobile view, my I highly recommend you just go ahead and you use the mobile view as your editor. So you do everything you want to do here. You make changes here so that it looks really nice here. And then you go up to these other sites and see how they look and see if you want to make changes there. But if you make changes uh, up here, you can, you can choose to just do it on this one or just do it on this one. But start with the mobile. That's tip number two. Tip number three, and this is extremely important as well. You may have noticed that I did not take this and drag it to re, redo that, that button. And I'll tell you why. The reason for that is that uh, while that is a like an amazing function and it makes it so easy to make changes to your website, it's not functioning the way it ought to right now in Groove. So anytime you want to change the size, and we'll talk about this next time, tips on positioning and all of that, but anytime you want to change the size, always go here. And so you see that right now it, it's just uh, automatic. Click width, go relative to parent, it's the bottom one and then choose this slider to make it the size that you want. The reason is, uh, if you grab these and, and change it, it does not uh, uh, does not keep that setting the way you want it. And so it's a bug right now in uh, Groove, so don't go down that route. Learn to use your uh, size and spacing and layout and all of this stuff, and we're gonna go over that in a future video. So that is my tip for today on the pink buttons, as well as on sizing, as well as on designing from your mobile view. I hope that's helpful, and I'll see you soon with another tip.